All right, next we're gonna talk about the breast collar. And uh, this, what we have here is a light duty, uh, recreational light duty uh, harness used for carriage and buggy driving. Uh, this is not intended for heavy work. Do not use a harness like this for heavy work, which is like plowing or heavy loads, things like that. One or two, three people in a cart, you know, you're not gonna have a problem. Going up hills, no problem. Going down hills, not a problem. But if you get into really a tough pulling situation, no, we don't invite it. All right, now look how Malin is gonna put this harness on, but I want you to look how efficiently and organized he's got this harness and he's holding with his arm up through there. The express collar's got a clip in the middle. That's kind of a neat thing, and we'll show you here in a minute, that it's able to go on the horse a lot more efficiently. Go ahead. So out here in where we live in Amish country, 95% of the horses driven or more are going to be in a, in a rig like this. Now I'd also like to, for you to notice this is a biothane, like a man-made plastic kind of product. And we kind of like it. Uh, it's very durable and you can wash it with the water hose. Like yesterday when we we're getting ready for this, Malin took this in the wash rack and washed it. Uh, if you got leather, you got to oil it a couple times a year and it's heavier. So you can do it either way, but this is kind of nice. So you notice he threaded that up on the horse's back. Now he's going to clip his breast collar closed. put on his belly strap. We kind of cheated a little. He's kind of got things already adjusted, you know, so. But just notice, like here, you want the same adjust amount on e either side. So like, you don't want this side real long and that side real short. So you make sure this, everything is evenly adjusted on both sides. This is the breast collar here. This is the saddle. These are the britchens, that's what that's called. That's to hold the buggy back and going forward against the horse. This is the crouper, this goes up under the tail, right? Now, I said this in my last video and I'll say it again. You be careful here. You make sure your horse is properly conditioned and prepared for that crouper because if not, you'll have an episode on your hand and a potential catastrophe. Now this horse has been driven a lot and been handled properly and she's okay with it. But if you have a horse that hasn't been driven and you're just starting with, this is, a, this is an area of concern. The horse will kick the front out of your buggy or kick your front teeth out if you're not careful. All right, so he's gonna adjust everything to where that all hangs just loose enough. You know, it's not tight, it's not loose. It's just gonna let everything hang there naturally, okay? Notice the, brit the britchens here are right here on the horse's hip, okay? If, if it was too high, when it pulls, it's gonna not catch right. It's gonna put that pressure too high when it pulls. Sometimes I see britchens clear down here, like this. That's too low because if you put weight on that, that could push the hind legs out from under the horse. So we want it to where the horse can comfortably give resistance and hold that load back as you're going down a hill. And a lot of times the horse might kick if you get too low. Yes. Okay. Well, now he'll bridle his horse. Notice his breast collar is adjusted to where it's just right there underneath the windpipe up front here. Okay. You might even need adjustment. Yeah, it might need to go up just a little. Okay. What you don't want to do is have that so high uh, that it cuts the horse's wind off when it pulls, but then you don't want it too low where you got the wrong angle. Okay. There, just like that. Very good. So 
Well, it's the same procedure, just like when we're riding our horses, the riding horses. We want the horse to drop its head to bridle. We want to do this softly. See how softly and organized Maitland maintains his hands. Okay. Now this is his check line, you call it. Now that's a little too loose. He's going to tighten that up just a little bit. And that's really there to keep the horse from dropping his head too low uh, or dropping his head and kicking the buggy or whatever. But one thing I want to show you here, go ahead and I showed it in the last video, but I want to show it in this one too. Is this side check right here? It goes up the side of the horse's face. Okay. When you check a horse like this, it allows him to flex his jaw and get his shoulders engaged and his hind quarters engaged, where he can pull better. A lot of the harnesses you buy will come from here and go between his ears and hook up here and it, uh, it holds its head up like this to where he cannot flex his jaw. Okay. And I'll tell you that is to your disadvantage. That doesn't work well. All right, it's starting to rain, so we're gonna go ahead. We really ought to demonstrate how to take it off. And then we'll bring the car inside and we'll get video inside. So come on inside.